Hello and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I am your host, Chris Doman, a.k.a. the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker. Here today with me, I've got a couple of bad boys who want to prove their movie trivia knowledge. First up to bat is the Wisconsin Crippler, John Macy. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I am doing very well. And his opponent today, we have the assassin, Case Cornelesa. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm uh, looking forward to this match. All right. Awesome. Case, you are actually the favorite going in, surprisingly enough. So would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'd like to go first. All right. And John Macy, category one or category two? One. All right. Number one it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. Introducing first... Representing the Legion of Doom, making his fan Schmodown debut. Give it up for the Wisconsin Crippler, John Macy. And his opponent, also making his fan Schmodown debut, the assassin, Case Cornelisa. So round one is going to go like this. You will each get four questions. We will go in sets of twos. Each are worth one point. There is no stealing allowed. Okay. Case, for your first question, under the category of Harry Potter films, name the first four Harry Potter films in order of release. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. That is correct for one point. In the category of comedy, what were the names of Bill Pullman and John Candy's characters in Spaceballs? Uh, goddamn it. One is Lone Star. And the other one... Who's the other actor again? John Candy. Five, four, three, Pluto. two. Close. I was looking for barf. Damn. That's not bad, though. All right, we're going to go over to John Macy for your first two questions. In the category of Harry Potter, name two of the three gifts that death gives the three brothers in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Uh... Uh, one of the Horcruxes and the uh, Invisibility Cloak thingy. Unfortunately, it's not specific enough. I was looking for the Master Wand, the Invisibility Cloak, and the Resurrection Stone. I knew that. Okay, I am, well, of course you knew that. <laughs> All right. For your second question, under the category of comedy... Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson are partners as wedding crashers. What do they do together as their job? They're marriage counselors. That is correct. For one point. All right, we come back over to Case. In the category of sports, in Mr. 3000, how many of Bernie Mac's hits did he have to make up in order to regain his milestone? I've not seen this movie. (laughs) Uh, Five. I mean, that's incorrect. I was looking for three. For your last question, under the category of drama, Jared Leto, Jennifer Connelly, and Marlon Wayans all suffer addiction to which street drug in Requiem for a Dream? Also not seen this movie, but I'm going to say heroin. That is correct. He guesses for a point. Holy s***. (laughs) (laughs) Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. For Casey at the end of round one, he's at two points. Let's see if John Macy can tie this up. John, in the category of sports movies, Kevin Costner starred in Field of Dreams in 1989. What baseball-related drama did he star in the year before alongside Susan Sarandon? Paul Durham. That is correct for one point. All tied up. For your final question in round one, under the category of drama... Veteran author Ron Kovic penned an autobiography which became Oliver Stone's Born on the Fourth of July, starring Tom Cruise. 
Which war was he a veteran of? Vietnam. That is correct. Three points. Oh, lordy. All right. Now that brings us to round two. And much like the original 2014 Schmodown, what the competitors will do is they'll pick a number between one and six. In each category, they will receive four questions worth two points apiece. They can go to multiple choice, which will bring the value of that question down to one point. And there is stealing in this round. John, you are currently in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first. All right. Pick a number between one and six. Five. All right. You have selected sports films. Do you want to keep it or go for one more? Meaning an alternative? Yes. And you get one shot. And that one you have to keep. Okay. No, I'll take that. All right. Sports movies it is. John Macy in the category of sports. What is Wild Thing's real name in Major League? Rick Vaughn. That is correct for two points. Holy smokes. Next question. Who played the bobsledding coach in Cool Runnings? John Candy. That is correct for two more points. For your third question. What song do the Washington Sentinels sing while in jail in The Replacements? Multiple choice, please. All right. Your options are A, celebration, B, you've lost that love and feeling, C, you can't always get what you want, or D, I will survive. B. Uh, That is incorrect. Case, you want a chance to steal? Gonna go with D. Nicely done. That is the correct answer. I will survive. Gloria Gaynor. I hate that song. (laughs) (laughs) I've never seen it. All right, and for your final question, John, what was the real name of the beast in The Sandlot? Multiple choice, please. All right, your options are A, Zeus, B, Hercules, C, Hades, or D, William Bibiani? I believe it was Hercules. That is correct for one point, although... I honestly would have accepted William Babyani because that dude's a freaking beast. Okay, <laughs> he's awesome. What's the score, by the way? The score right now is 8 to 3. Case managed to get one point off you, but you're actually in a pretty comfortable lead unless Case gets a pretty solid category. Which, speaking of, Case, do you want to go for it? Um, I'm going to go with category number 4. Oh, sh. Oh, shit. Okay, I, I just realized that I left this in so case good job man you yeah. picked star wars oh boy. what the hell i'm your equal there buddy don't get too excited all right well let's <laughs> see what happens case for your first question under the category of star wars who co-wrote the scripts for empire strikes back return of the jedi and the force awakens Lawrence Kasdan. that is correct for two points nice who who said in my book, experience outranks everything. Uh, Captain Rex. Two more points. Holy crap. Third question. How long were the Jedi Knights the guardians of peace and justice in the Old Republic? Over a thousand generations. Two more points. Whoa. He is on fire right now. And for your last question in the category of Star Wars, what was Luke's call sign during the Battle of Hoth? Rogue leader. That is correct. Eight point sweep. Holy crap. Star Wars. I ought to know this. So right now, uh, thanks to that help, the score is 11 to 8. Wow. I, that was luck if I ever saw it. <laughs> for, okay, so now it's time for round number three, which is the IMDB round. How this round works is I give you the year, genre, and three key words of a movie. If you can guess the title of the film from that information alone, you will receive five points. If you need two more keywords, I can give you those two keywords, but your point value goes down to three points. If you need one more after that, your point value goes down to one point. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. Case, since right now you're in the lead... I'll give you the option of picking either movie number one or movie number two. Number two. John Macy, since you're behind, I'll give you the chance to go first for movie number one. Okay. Your year is 1983. Your genre is comedy, crime, and drama. And your three keywords are 
Call girl. Teenager. Porsche. License to drive? Is that your final guess? Yeah. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. I was looking for risky business. Tom Cruise's risky business. Yeah, you know what? That's a great guess, though, actually. I can definitely see where you were coming from. Now, here's the thing. If Case can get just the five or the three on this one, it's all over. Okay. But if he misses, we will go to round four, a.k.a. pop quiz. So... No pressure. (laughs) No pressure. (laughs) All right. Case, for the potential win... Your year is 2003. Your genre is drama and history. Your keywords are political commentary, publisher, and lie. I'm going to need two more keywords. All right. Magazine and journalist are your next two keywords. If I know that and he gets it wrong, does that help me? It, what it will allow is you to possibly catch up in pop quiz round. So I can't steal that. You cannot steal. I'm going to need two more words. I can only give you one more, and here's your last oh, one. Yeah. The New Republic. I can, run, I can run down all of them one more time, and then I'll give you ten seconds. Sounds fair? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, your keywords are political commentary... Publisher, Lie, Magazine, Journalist, and The New Republic. Okay, maybe I don't know that. <laughs> no, I got nothing. The movie was Shattered Glass. Yes, I did know that. I've never seen that movie or heard of it. <laughs> it is the movie that actually, for some people, forgives Hayden Christensen of the prequels. I recommend it. Because that was the one thing where he showed he could actually act, kind of. Oh, yeah, I thought he was terrific in it, but that's that's just me. That's just me. And we're not here to review movies. We're here to talk about trivia. <laughs> so, with the score still being 11-8, to 8, John Macy has the chance to come back in what we call pop quiz. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give five questions. Since John's behind, he'll be the first to get to answer. And if he misses one then Case has a chance to put some more distance between himself. If John can make up the three points that he's behind, tie it, and then win, then it's all over. If Case manages to get one right before John can tie him, it's all over. Okay. Hey. All right. John, this category is movie quotes. You will name the movie from the quote. For your possible redemption. A winner goes home and f*** the prom queen. The Rock. That is correct. 11 to 9. Your next quote. How art thou, thou globby bottle of cheap, stinking chip oil? Uh, Five. Four. Black Knight. Incorrect. I was looking for a clockwork orange. All right. Now we go to Case, who might have a chance to take this away. Case, the quote is, all you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. The Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. And your winner, (gasps) the assassin, Case Cornalesa, 12 to 9 in his debut match. Congratulations, man. That is good to both of you. That was a very very hard fought match i am i'm very honestly proud of both of you yeah i gotta congratulate um john John as well uh, because this this was a good match you uh, gave me uh you gave me a good fight yeah it hadn't been for that star wars thing it it is very possible that we might be singing different tunes that is i that thing is i would have gotten like three of those but i knew you had me (laughs) um yeah and, and in all fairness, I actually kind of forgot I had a Star Wars category in this match. <laughs> but That's all right. But, oh. uh, it, it is what oh. it is. And so, so John, unfortunately, it didn't go the way that you thought it might. Um, but And you said you have every dream to come back. Oh, absolutely. 
Oh, yeah. And so, do you think this is going to set back the Legion of Doom at all? No. Not in the slightest. Well, that's what I like to hear. One of the seven that's... of us will be your champion when you, whenever you figure out how that's going to work. All right. No, that's that <laughs> sounds fair to me. And Case, congratulations on your first win, man. Um, yeah. So now this puts some stakes in your upcoming match against Matt Kearns. How are you feeling about that now? Oh, well, I just aced four Star Wars questions, and I'm going up against him in a Star Wars match, so I'm pretty confident about that. Well, that's awesome, man. Well, you know what? Uh, the both of you, I just, I gotta say, thanks for uh, being good sports while in the match. I appreciate that, you know, and we love the smack talk, but as long as we remember to stay gents in the ring, that's all that I ask. Absolutely. Yeah, true. So, this has been the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I am the unofficial Harloff Chris Skywalker. And we'll see you at the next match. Take care.